a shaker card and this time I'm going to be using the reindeer scene in the snow globe. We'll show you what we'll be using. We have the clear treat cups in the round size that fit the snow globe. And here's our snow globe. Now this was from last year's release, but we've done a couple of new scenes for it. So we brought it back. The pine cone and greenery I'm gonna use for a little accent. And here is the reindeer uh, snow globe scene. And we're going to be doing some embossing with the ice crystals embossing folder. Okay, so there's quite a bit of embossing on this one actually. So we will get started on that first. So I will give you a quick measurement. I've got a piece of milk card and it is cut to five and a half inches by six and a half inches. So we're going to emboss the background first. Put that in place and you just want to line that up and make sure that you're even because it is one of those um, folders that has a, a, a aligned pattern to it. So you don't want to just put it in randomly. Put that through. There. Okay, move that out of the way. So what I want to do with this one first is add a little bit of an accent around the edge. I've got the enchanted gold uh, gilding polish here and just pop the applicator out. I'm just going to use a little bit onto the applicator and just go around the edge. The center of this piece will be completely covered. So I just want to accent the edge part. And it looks really, really lovely on the um, milk card. It's such a soft uh, accent. You really don't even notice it until you move the card and the shimmer just picks up the light. There we go. Get this last little bit here. Okay. Put your applicator back in there and piece of kitchen roll. Just gonna give it a buff. And that will dry it. Okay, so you can see I've just done the edge piece and you can pick up all that lovely shimmer from it. So I'm going to put that onto just a slightly larger um, milk colored mat. So I'll use some tape on it. Sometimes when I do embossing, I like to have a, a double mat only because it will hold it nice and flat. Your embossing can give a little bit of a wiggle to the card. So let's put that into place, get that centered like that. That looks good. In fact, I can bring that around and put it onto my backing, get that ready to go. So I've used the milk card. I've used a little bit of um, antique gold there just to bring that gold tone in as well. Put that into place. Now the next thing is I've used the snow globe in a piece of antique gold here and cut that out of the shape because I want to use that but I want to do embossing with it as well. And this piece is uh, four and a quarter, just actually about four and a third by five and five eighths. Oops, excuse me. So I'm going to bring back the ice crystals. Oops, there we go. Line this up. Just see if I can get it centered right in between all those snowflakes. Bring that back over. And you definitely want to make sure you cut your snowflake or your snow globe first because your embossing will squish that. So you don't want to uh, do that secondly. Okay, now I'm going to bring back the same enchanted gold and just use that a little bit more around the edge on this. And it's a gold on gold, so it's definitely a different, um, very, very subtle shimmer, but I think it's pretty. And it really does add a little bit of bling to your card. There we go. And put that back in there. Okay, so the next thing I did, I've gone ahead and done one ahead of time, but I just ran a uh, bit of glue around the edge and I put our gold hexagons 
on it. So what I have is a piece that looks like this. So it's ultra blingy. Just thought it'd be kind of a different little accent. So I'm gonna use that piece next, but we wanna put our snow globe together. So I've gone ahead and filled the treat cup with some uh, gold hexagons. I've actually added a little bit of um, clear microbeads. That kind of helps move it around a little bit, give some more weight to it. So we will tape it into place, pop that in through the back, just put it into place there with some tape. Oops. And I'll tell you what, let me trim those down just a little bit. Don't want them to show. There we go. And one more little piece. Just add a little bit more tape on here. There we go. Okay, so now I've got that taped into place. I've cut the snow globe out. Separately, I've used a little bit of um, antique linen on there. And this section here, I didn't want the gold to show through. So I've gone ahead and used a little bit of craft card. So we will glue that into place behind it. And that will tie in nicely with our um, accent later. Just line this piece up. There we go. And now we can glue that over the top, let me get a little bit around the edge here. Okay. Put that into place right over the top. Give that a second to set up. Now I wanna add the scene. So I've cut the reindeer out of the craft card and I've actually added the white backing. Now when I cut this, I decided I didn't want it quite so angled. So I've just moved it a little bit. So that part won't show. So I'm just gonna use a little piece of tape around the back here. Double-sided. Just leaving the, um, edge of it around the top part of that treat cup. I don't want it to go into the center there where you can see it. We can line that up, just give it a shake, line that up so you can see through there really nicely. And I've got just a little bit tall here, so I'm gonna trim the top off. There we go. And we'll add a bit of mounting foam to that to raise it up. I've just got a couple pieces here. those on the back, bring over our center. And remember, we've just done the edge part of that with the gold because this part will cover all of that. So our middle isn't even going to show there. Now, what I wanna do is add an accent with the um, pine cones. So I've gone ahead and cut them, but let me just show you what this looks like. So I'm gonna cut a quick one out of the craft card. So it comes in two pieces, and there's our tape hiding, tape them together. And if you want to do the top part in one color, you can back it with a different color because you can lift up the little pieces. I'm just gonna show you out of one today. You get a really nice little pine cone here. And what you can do is bring in like a white gel pen and just put a little bit what looks like snow onto these pieces here. Just kind of hand color it in. I think this really looks nice. Just go back over it. You can tip it around. I've got one done, I don't even need to finish all the way, but if you add a little bit of ice snow to that, you can have one that looks like it's got a frosty snow leaf, you know, that's just layered onto it. Okay, so I'm going to add those onto the bottom of the card, right in the corner of our snow globe. I've got a little bit of mounting foam on the back, and these come with a beautiful a uh, bit of holly. You've got two different pieces here you can use, and I've cut them out of a couple different shades of green, and you can nip these down if you want them a little bit shorter or keep them longer. And there's our glue. So what we're gonna do is just add a little bit of glue onto these and tuck them right under the end. 
And I like having just the two different shades of green, I think makes such a pretty look. It really gives you that, that realistic sort of look to it. In fact, let's trim that down. Use little pieces on there. There we go. Tuck that under. There we go. Do another one and they're going two different directions so you can have them going any way you want. In fact, let's pop that one over a little bit more. And put this one under. There we go. Oops. And take and use these little pieces here. We can even add some coming down out of the bottom if you like. That's what's fun to play with different um, shapes and configurations on your dies. You can just get the floral elements to look exactly how you like them. There we go. I love that. So now you've got a beautiful snow globe, quite a pretty little shaker card, and your accented pine cones on it. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and you'll look for us again on our YouTube channel.